welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 6th of June 2018. Valley Bobs joins us. She is asleep on the bed. <laughs> She's always asleep on the bed. She sleeps for about eight hours in the day. I think I need to work my way up to that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that fell on its side. I'm using the Aquarian Tarot again today. This is for all zodiac signs. Check out your my no, check out my pick a card reading, which is up. That's about how we feel is about you, and also June readings are up for each astrological sign. Okay, you're in the reverse. So we'll put you in the reverse. Yes, we will. You're an awkward card. Oh, okay. Have you on the side? You. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. Nine of Swords fell on its side, okay? When cards fall on their side, I kind of take it that they're upwards and they're reversed. Beautiful artwork again. It's usually a woman sitting in bed and there are nine swords over her head and she feels the weight of some kind of fear of something happening. Swords, okay, represent um, notions, ideas, truths, thoughts, things that have been said, words, stories, all of that kind of thing, but it's on a much more intellectual level. The emotional side of it, the fact that she is got her head in her hands, Queen of Cups in reverse. Usually when we get the Queen of Cups in reverse, there is a feeling that we ignored our intuition. We ignored something that on an emotional level we knew about, but for some reason, I don't know, we chose to just go into a bit of denial, I suppose. Now, an opportunity comes to do something about it midweek. This could also be to do with something to do with two women. It could be sisters, mothers, it can be colleagues in the workplace, but we also have the Queen of Swords. A very different character to the Queen of Cups, and you can see it here. Queen of Swords is decisive, she will chop things out, she will she will let her head rule her heart and that is one massive sword. The message that I get for this reading for midweek is that it is time to let your head rule your heart in a certain situation. We get the Ace of Swords. That is the card of intellectual sheer kind of brilliance and a real clear message, epiphany of how something should be or what you will or won't accept. Once that comes, you will feel ka -chunk off with their head, that kind of energy. It'll be like, right, it's this, ka like that. Major Arcana, the Judgment card. This is the opportunity to judge something, to redo something, to have a look at something, to just get a second chance at looking at it or dealing with it a different way. So if there was a situation you dealt with messily, over emotionally, you let your heart rule your head in a certain way, there is this opportunity to cut something out in a way you probably should have done the first time round. And again, we get that Knight of Pentacles that was here on Monday, Patience. 
it's the idea, look at that tash as well. That is a 70s tash. Beautiful. The idea that you will have your time slightly karmic as well, I'm getting here, that if you're embarrassed, annoyed, whatever it is about how you dealt with it the last time, it's as Carly Simon would say, it's coming around again, okay? You get your chance. I'm going to take one more card. Yeah. We've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You may... Sometimes, you know, we behave in emotional ways because we're afraid of losing some kind of aspect of security. What then happens when we go away and think about it is that we become prepared to surrender and release the notion of that security. And with that comes a freedom and it comes a freedom to say no and a freedom to wield our big sword. And that's what I get. Because what seemed like security wasn't. And we kind of realise it. It dawns upon us that we can manage either on our own or without that thing or person. Yes. And we get the thinker. Now look, this lady has her head in her hands. This lady has her head in her hands. Now the Nine of Swords, remember it fell on its side as well. Nine of Swords, Mars in Gemini, often gets a bad press. And often it does mean that you're chewing your own face off with anxiety. But do you know what? Sometimes, as my mum calls it, after the night of the long knives, is born clarity. You know, there's something in that, in that way of doing it. That can also show up, by the way, this Nine of Swords as a kind of a night of nightmares, a thread of nightmares, which at the time are really grim, but give you, it's a way of processing thoughts. And also, do you know what? There is nothing more in anxiety inducing than a false sense of security that you kind of know is false. Let's have Healing with the Angels Oracle card. Yes. Divine timing. I think you kind of know that. That comes to you like that. And also divine timing often benefits us most when we're willing to give up on our goal, which is a weird concept, isn't it? It's a weird concept, but nevertheless true. Leave me a comment about that. That's a really interesting reading. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Do subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.